Hi, this is how to install Windows through Bootcamp on any supported Apple computer. Please see the link in the description for exactly which models actually support this. Also note that Bootcamp is not supported on the newer Apple computers with their own M1 silicon chips. All we're going to need to install Bootcamp is a supported Mac computer, in this case an iMac from a few years back, and a USB stick with a minimum of 16GB storage space. We're also going to need a copy of Windows. This can be downloaded for free directly from Microsoft using the link up here. I'll also post this in the description below. For the edition, we select Windows 10. And then we select our preferred language. I pick Swedish here since I apparently love freezing winters. Last but not least, we also get to pick between 32 or 64 bit windows. Here we nowadays always go with 64 bit. After the file is downloaded, we open up Spotlight and search for Bootcamp. At this time, we also insert our USB stick into a free USB port on the computer. In Bootcamp, we select Continue. After a few seconds, we are presented with this screen where we make sure all three boxes are checked before clicking Continue again. The installation usually finds the ISO file containing Windows that we downloaded earlier by itself. However, if it's not fine, we can also click Change to exactly specify its location. Before we click Continue, take note that the USB stick will now be completely erased and emptied of all data, so back up anything you might have on it that you want to keep. The following process can be very slow, so allow at least 20 to 30 minutes for it to finish. Once completed, we get to pick how much of the hard drive storage capacity to allocate to macOS as well as to our new Windows installation. Since this will be a basically Windows only Mac computer, I'm going to use as much space as possible for the Windows portion of the hard drive. To finish off the settings, we click on install and input our computer password to allow Bootcamp to do its thing. After that, we just have to wait for the partition process to finish and for the computer to restart and kick off the actual Windows installation. From here on, the process is very straightforward and we're basically just clicking next on all the screens popping up. Sorry about the language being Swedish here, my bad. If you do have a serial key, this can be entered during the setup, but we can also select that we do not have one and continue the installation just fine. The key can be added after the installation is complete. For most users, Windows Home is also the most preferred version to install, so if you don't know which version to use, this is the one to go with. The only place we have to pay a little extra attention during the setup is on this screen, where we select on which part of the hard drive, which partition, we want to install Windows on. Most often, Bootcamp is already selected, however, double check that it is before moving on with the installation. After this, the computer starts copying all the files from the USB stick to the hard drive. This can take anything from a few minutes to a good half hour depending on, well, things. Once the setup is completed, the computer restarts one more time before the final settings to the Windows installation, such as language and keyboard layout, are applied. And once Windows has actually installed, a bootcamp prompt will pop up. Make sure to select Install here to install all the necessities the computer will need to run smoothly with the Mac hardware. When the installation is fully complete, the computer will want to restart one last time before finally being ready to use. Great work! If you want to select whether to boot in macOS or Windows, all you have to do is hold down the Alt or Options key just after you power the computer on. Then use the arrow keys to select your preferred operating system to start. And that's about it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.